Hi guys, it's from the math person. Today I'll be going over question 294 on SLA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume that you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. The number of claims x in a health, in policy, health insurance policy is a random variable with ex squared equals the second moment being 61 and that thingy being 47. <laughs> Calculate the standard deviation of the stand number of claims. Okay, well, first thing to note here, we know the formula, um, the variance of x is equal to the second moment minus, oh, what am I doing? Minus the expectation of x, the whole thing squared. And another thing to note here is I, um, exp exponential, I mean, expectations linear. So for example, I can actually um, foil this out and make it equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 47, right? And because it's linear, I can actually, and yeah, because it's linear, I can actually split this up into ex squared minus expectation of 2x plus expectation of 1 equals 47. Okay, so expectation of x squared we know is 61. Yeah, minus expectation of 2x, but I can actually take that constant out. 2x plus expectation of 1 is just 1 equals 47, right? So then, because we already know E x squared, our um, goal is to find E of expectation of x, so this is what we're solving for. So I can um, bring this to the other side, so 61 plus 1 minus 47 equals 2 times expectation of x, or this is equal to divide by 2 on both sides, and expectation of x is equal to, let me get my calculator out, is equal to 61 plus 1 minus 47, which is 15 over 2, which is also equal to 7.5, which is our expectation. Okay, well, we have everything we need to plug it into our formula right here. Okay, so then variance of x, we can say is ex squared, which we know is 61, minus expectation squared, that's 7.5, the whole thing squared, right? But then, in order to find standard devi deviation, we have to take the square root of both sides. So then we have standard deviation is equal to square root of 61 minus 7.5 squared. Okay, so this is equal to 2.179, which is our answer. Approximately equal to 2.18, which is our answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!